your girl Julie Beans and welcome back to another video. I'm going to do a quick video because I know somebody out there would love to learn how to prepare this. Right, I have all my things washed and set aside. Some girl out there, we are still over somebody house this weekend. Some guy, they might try to impress <laughs> and would like to probably make this meal and thing. So, I'm cutting up my seasonings. And you're gonna need tomatoes, scallion, scotch bonnet pepper, garlic, green peppers, and onions. All right, I'm gonna put the list of the ingredients on the screen, and you can you know, buy it and try it. And if you decide to do this recipe, feel free to drop it in the comment section and let me know how it turned out. You know, I would like to hear your feedback. And if there's anything that you do differently, drop it in the comment section also and let me know. The first thing I've done though, I've put the salt mackerel in some cold water and set it on the fire just to scald, just to get off the excess salt from it. I did it like twice. You can taste it after the first time though. And you decide based on how salty you want it, you can decide um, if you're gonna do it a second time. So you gauge that based on your desired taste. This is a quick meal, cause honestly I'm hungry. I'ma just decide to give you guys a little something something. I'm not even gonna put my face in the video cause it's not about my face, it's about what I'm preparing. And for those who don't know, your girl not too bad in the kitchen, so anybody who want to learn a thing or two, check the video out. If there's a recipe you want to see me do, drop it in the comment section and I'll try my best to make it happen for you. And stop. I'll try to keep the video short because it just makes more sense to have the video short. Scotch one and pepper, nice and flavorful. All right, so here I have all my seasonings cut up. I have the scotch bonnet pepper, tomatoes, sweet pepper, onions, scallion, garlic. That's pretty much what you need. And if there's anything else that you like, you know, you can I have the salt mackerel. Right, I'm just breaking it up into smaller pieces. Now there is a layer that you'll see over the salt mackerel just take a knife not a sharp knife and you can just slightly remove it or run it under some cold water well, i like fish head so i usually leave it in but as you know you can you do what suits you and you can you know remove what you don't want like these little bones i'm gonna take them out so you can break it up into smaller pieces you don't want them to be too small you don't have to i need mean, I, mean, I break the fish head in half because like i say i like it yeah. any small bones remove it i'm gonna make my dumplings now you just need flour i added some salt to it and it's not hard to make for all the ladies who you know, probably worry about messing your nails up, it's easy to clean. I use a spoon if you prefer. Your kitchen is a judgment-free zone, so ain't nobody going to judge you for what you're doing in your kitchen. Providing that you maintain good hygiene at all times, which I know you guys will. I need my flour. I have put my water on the stove to boil, so it's, I need to get it to, to a boil. So, yeah. I'm very awkward using a spoon, so. And like I said, guys, it's not hard. It's very easy to do. 
We can Jamaican in 10 minutes or less. You can cook for yourself, for your family, for somebody who you may want to become your family one day. In team, guys. <laughs> And fret not, if you think you added too much water, it's very easy to, to fix. You just add a little bit more flour to the dough and work it in. Then you'll be fine. And put a little bit too much water and I just added some flour off camera. And see, just like magic, it's fixed. And don't peel your bananas until water has gone to a boil and you're ready to put them in because you don't want them to get discolored there you go so the water is about ready and i'm gonna peel my bananas before peeling the bananas put some oil on your hand to prevent the stains from getting on your hand I prefer using the um, bananas that have smaller fingers because I find that they're, really, they're much softer. That's, that's my opinion though. Maybe. I'm gonna add the um, dumplings to the pot now. I'm gonna boil plantains also, ripe plantains, but usually you wait until everything is almost finished cooking. Then you add it. To I remembered that I have a piece of yellow yam. I don't want it to go bad, so I'm gonna use a tip for you guys when you wanna prepare yams. Ensure the stain from it doesn't touch your skin. If it touches your skin, it's gonna scratch, right? Well, it's a scratch, it's gonna scratch really bad. Remember guys, if you like videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. We're gonna do the seasonings now. So putting some oil in the pot. Add the salt mackerel. Remember guys, if you want them to be in smaller pieces, you have the option to do it how you like. Usually I add a little all-purpose seasoning. Whichever one you like, then you can go ahead and use it. Here you have it guys. I'm gonna turn the stove off now. So I added some all-purpose seasoning, a little black pepper and a little ketchup. Because I, I like it with ketchup, but you don't have to put it in yours if you don't want to. Okay, guys, so I'm finally done cooking. I shared my food, so I'm going to eat. I want to thank you all for watching the video. I hope it helped somebody out there who, you know, has always wanted to learn, but or has always had an interest in cooking Jamaican or just learning how to do something different. 
don't forget to try the recipe let me know how it worked for you drop it in the comment section if there's anything that you'd like to see me cook thank you guys for watching my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the like button see you all on my next video beans nation thanks for joining